Genshin Impact is a fun but farm intensive game. <laughs> Whether you're a free to play or premium player, everyone tries to take advantage of the different avenues where free items can be obtained. One such avenue is the Spiral Abyss, but a lot of people, especially from the free to play community, have hit a wall at floor 11 chamber 2. This was also me not too long ago. In this video, I'll be equipping you with the know-how so that you can also achieve the riches that await you at the end of the abyss. Alright guys, before we begin, let me just say that the AI of these monsters are scripted to behave in a certain way. Once you understand this behavior, then you'll be that much closer to being able to clear this floor. Both the Rock Shield Hilly Churl and the Blazing Axe Meter Churl are programmed to attack the monolith. These guys are scripted to attack you, so you can ignore them for the most part. The first Pyro Archer will be after the monolith. So it's imperative that you take it out quickly. Proceeding ones will be after you. Conversely, the first Electro Archer will be after you, while the others will target the monolith. Uh, yeah. Believe it or not, the Anemo MC will be the most important character on your first team, since his Anemo attacks can draw the enemy's aggro. It's important that you get his burst in the previous chamber. With this tornado, you can blast away the Rock Shield Helitros that spawned by the monolith and receive their aggro. With the wind! While the enemies have been distanced from the monolith, take out the first Pyro Hilichurl and proceed to defeating the Stone Shield Hilichurls right afterwards. Solidify! One with my blade! Go, Buck! Wind blade! Try to get the aggro off the stone shield hilly trails that spawn after you defeat the first wave. And also try to refrain from standing too close to the monolith or the archers may end up hitting it involuntarily. Stabilize! One with my blade! Know that this stone shield hilly churls are gone, get the aggro of the blazing axe meter churl and take it out. A touch of frost! Spirit blade! Attack! Finally, choose one of the archers to deal with first and then take out all the others that spawn in its wake. One with my blade. Let the show begin. Wind blade. Both treasure hoarders will be after the monolith. The Fatui mage will attack you, but her minions will go after the monolith. By royal decree, I summon the Disappear! Tear! Here. Boba, get them! 
My royal decree here. Let's light it up. Go in. You really know how to get me going. <laughs> Let's light it up! Yeah! Uh, adventure time! Hey, yeah. The more, the merrier! Boring! Essence. Lament! Tear! Worthless! The shovel guy is pretty much harmless. Ignore him. The other Hulk looking treasure hoarders will be after the monolith. Take them down first. The Fatawi agent will be after you. But be sure not to put the monolith between you two. Worthless. Leaving so soon. Let's light it up. Everybody, stand back. I'm the frying pan. It's the fire. In the morning, <laughs> adventure time. Booba, get them. <laughs> Let's light it up. Everybody, stand back. Oh, it's revealed. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Evil conquering. Tear. <laughs> And that pretty much wraps it up guys. This floor can be done without Venti or Sucros, and even a free to play gamer was able to complete it once he understood the monster's behavior. I stream 5 days a week on Facebook, so be sure to check that out if you're interested, links in the description. If you have anything to add, drop a comment down below, and if this video helps you out in any way, definitely smash that like button, and consider subscribing for future content. This is Devon, you have been watching The Feels, and I will catch you in the next one. Later!